Library friends, I'm Miss Connie from the Hopewell Branch, and welcome to our new virtual book display program. Today, I'm going to show you some new fiction picture books that can be found in the library system. I hope you will consider taking out stories that sound like you and stories that maybe don't sound like you. Learning about situations and people that are different than us help us learn to be kind to all people. I can't wait to tell you about these new books. Let's get started. Mustache Duckstache by Amy Young and illustrated by A.J. Young. When a mustachioed rabbit spots a mustache contest, he's sure he has a competition beat. That is until a pesky frog hops up with his own fine mustache and a duck waddles up with a duck stash soon the competition is full of moose stashes and mouse stashes whale stashes and tail stashes and every kind of stash in between can bears ski by raymond antrobus and illustrated by polly dunbar little bear feels the world around him he feels the floor shake when someone stomps to get his attention but something is missing little bear is not sure what is happening all around him he hears the familiar refrain, can bears ski? Then dad bear takes him to see an audiologist and they learn that little bear has been experiencing deafness. With new hearing aids, he discovers that can bears ski is actually, can you hear me? His new world is loud and will take some getting used to, but with the love and support of dad bear, Little Bear Will Find His Way. Tiny Bird, A Hummingbird's Amazing Journey by Robert Burley and illustrated by Wendell Miner. As autumn nears, flowers fade and insects become quiet and Tiny Bird leaves his northern home for the long and perilous journey to lush southern forest. This book includes facts about hummingbirds. Sincerely, Emerson, a Girl, Her Letter, and the Helpers All Around Us by Emerson Weber and illustrated by Jacqueline Sinquet. One tiny act of kindness can have a huge impact. And in this heartwarming, hopeful, absolutely true story, a simple letter does just that. Alex's Good Fortune by Benson Shum. It's time to celebrate Chinese New Year. Join Alex as she gets ready for the holiday and shares her family's traditions with her best friend, Ethan. Happy Springtime by Kate McMullen and illustrated by Sue Jean Rim. This book is a celebration and explanation of the spring equinox. Seeking an Aurora by Elizabeth Pulford and illustrated by Ann Bannock. In the quiet of the night, a child's father bundles them up and shows them the majesty of an aurora. Daisy by Jessica Bagley. Because she is teased at school, Daisy hangs her head a lot, which leads to a new hobby of collecting lost and broken items and to a real treasure, a new friend. Eyes that kiss in the corners by Joanna Ho and illustrated by Dung Ho. A young Asian girl notices that her eyes look different from her peers. They have big round eyes and long lashes. She realizes that her eyes are like her mother's, her grandmother's, and her little sister's. They have eyes that kiss in the corners and glow like warm tea, crinkle into crescent moons, and are filled with stories of the past and hope for the future. 
Drawing from the strength of these powerful women in her life, she recognizes her own beauty and discovers a path to self-love and empowerment. This powerful poetic picture book will resonate with readers of all ages and is a celebration of diversity. Seven Golden Rings, A Tale of Music and Math by Rajani LaRocca and illustrated by Archana Srinivasan. In ancient India, a boy named Bhagat travels to the Rajan city hoping to ensure his family's prosperity by winning a place at court as a singer. This book includes an author's note about binary numbers. Milo Imagines the World by Matt De La Pena and illustrated by Christian Robinson. While Milo and his sister travel to a detention center to visit their incarcerated mother, he observes strangers on the subway and draws what he imagines their lives to be. Song of the Old City by Anna Pellicioli and illustrated by Merv Atilgen. A little girl ventures through the old city of Istanbul, receives many kindnesses along the way, and practices the tradition of passing on what she receives. Bear Island by Matthew Cordell Louise and her family are sad over the loss of their beloved dog, Charlie. Life will not be the same, Louise says, as she visits a little island that Charlie loved. But on a visit to the island after Charlie's death, something strange happens. She meets a bear. At first, she's afraid, but soon she realizes that the bear is sad too. As Louise visits more often, she realizes that getting over loss takes time. And just when she starts to feel better, it's time for Bear to bed down for the winter. Once again, Louise believes that life will not be the same. But sometimes things can change for the better. And on the first warm day of spring, her family welcomes a new member. Here is a lovely, poignant story about loss and healing that will bring comfort to even the youngest readers. Early One Morning by Mem Fox and illustrated by Christine Davenier. A little boy takes a walk to fetch something for his breakfast before sitting down for a meal with his grandmother. A Real Friend by Jennifer Wolfall and illustrated by Judy Abbott. Benny and Max are best friends. They often play together until Max annoys Benny and the two friends get into a fight. Then Benny decides to build a new best friend. Chicken Little and the Big Bad Wolf by Sam Wedelich. When Chicken Little runs into the Big Bad Wolf, literally, her first instinct is to fly like the other chickens, but she decides to investigate instead and finds that this particular wolf is not interested in eating chickens. He's just looking for a place to call home. Don't Hug Doug by Carrie Finnison and illustrated by Daniel Wiseman. Doug prefers not to be hugged, but there are a variety of other ways his loved ones can show him affection. The Whole Whole Story by Vivian McInerney and illustrated by Kenneth Kit Lamug. Zaya imagines what might happen if the hole in her pocket became big enough to fall right through. My Friend by Tay Diggs and illustrated by Shane Evans. Two best friends have each other's backs. When one friend sees the other doing something unkind, he steps in to show his friend the correct behavior. Sheepish, Wolf Undercover by Helen Yoon. Hungry Wolf disguises himself as a sheep and nobody suspects a thing. Or do they? Wolf dreams of tasty sheep. Sheep sandwiches, sheep sushi, sheep tacos. In his clever sheep costume, he infiltrates the friendly neighborhood herd blending in by helping with chores, reading bedtime stories to the lambs, and working up a sweat in sheep aerobics class. Wolf's sneaky plan works so well, he becomes part of the family. And suddenly, 
the sheep don't seem quite as tasty. With a charming twist ending and lots of visual fun, including the running theme of Wolf's disguise not being quite as convincing as he thinks, this hilarious take on the wolf in sheep's clothing will have readers howling for more. A Small Kindness by Stacy McAnulty and illustrated by Wendy Leach. It was like a game of tag with one small act of kindness spreading throughout a small community of kids and teachers alike. Una by Kelly DiPuccio and illustrated by Reza Figueroa. Una and her best friend Otto love to search for treasure and often find trouble instead. Messy trouble, tricky trouble, even shark-related trouble. That's never stopped them before, though. After all, no proper treasure hunt is without some adventure. But when the grandest treasure yet is stuck in a deep, dark rift, Una's not sure if she can dive right in. What might be waiting for her in those unknown waters? I Am a Kindness Hero by Jennifer Adams and illustrated by Carme Lemnisades. This book celebrates gentleness and vulnerability in boys and teaches all children the importance of kindness. I hope you enjoyed learning about these new picture books. You can find more new books for kids videos on our YouTube channel under the virtual bookshelf playlist. If you're not coming into the library, you can pick up curbside or there are also many ebooks, e audiobooks, and e videos that you can access at home with your library card. Just go to mcl.org and select catalog, and you'll be able to search all of our materials, both electronic and physical. Thanks for watching today. Bye.